This is a story, some say it's true, of a gentle nymph named Mariu. It's a tale of long ago of her love for a fawn named Zephyro. Now there's a fact that we all know that in those days of long ago, this was a world of magical things when orchids laughed and pigs had wings and blossoms danced in the willow tree while granite boulders ran down to the sea. When our world was new in days of old, Mariu the nymph had a voice of gold and pigs flew in from miles around to listen to that golden sound, and jaguars refused to growl, and howler monkeys ceased to howl, and even the stars in the sky above twinkled to hear her song of love. One evening neath the sun's red glow, Mariu met a fawn named Zephyro, and they agreed that night to meet at the tree that stands so tall down by the sea. Mariu was young, and many knew that Zephyro would be untrue. And Babaya, the wise old crow, whispered, Beware, he'll love and go. Mariu had not learned the name of fear. And as the night and moon drew near, the lovers lay down beneath the tree that stands so tall down by the sea. Zephyro's eyes shone blue and bright, his arms were strong, his touch was light. Mariu held him close and whispered low, I give my heart to Zephyro. They promised they would meet next night to sign an ancient marriage rite and pledge their love and ever be together through eternity. But the moon turned pale for well she knew that Zephyra would ne'er be true. On the following night the stars drew near, but Zephyro did not appear, and every night for a thousand years Mariu returned to shed her tears. And slowly her body faded away till nothing was left, or so they say, for sometimes near the moonlit shore some say they hear her voice once more. A song that rises to the skies above, a song that sings of life and love. But only those whose hearts are true can hear the voice of Mario. That's for you, Dad. Oh. God, that was so awesome. Love you. Everything, Mr. Motherbird. <laughs> <laughs>